this is uh, uh, another presentation of some basic features that uh, you should have uh, in the encoding of your uh, uh, text. And a few words now about the, the different symbols, which is uh, uh, a part of a, a newer version of uh, um, the abbreviation uh, presentation. Uh, and uh, there is no much, not much to say about this, but I will just show you the respective tags. So you have the G element for symbol, and you can have type leaf or type scroll or type floret or type cross. And in the visualization, you can have several variants of visualization. You can have leaves in the leaf or cross or dot in uh, double round brackets. Or in some visualization scenarios, you can uh, you can have a stylized uh, leaf which exists as, as a unique character, uh, which uh, visualizes the leaf uh, or the cross. You can also use this for meaning bearing uh, marks, such as indications of uh, money or other measurements. The marks which are indicating. Uh, which indicate uh, uh, money or other measurements are actually a sui generis abbreviations. So you treat them like uh, abbreviations, uh, only that in the expand uh, abogura part, in that element, which is the element which uh, uh, is shown in the diplomatic version of the text, but omitted in the uh, editorial or interpretive uh, rendition of the text. Uh, um, uh, here in this uh, AMA uh, tag, uh, you uh, uh, simply put the uh, empty element for a symbol. And you get the symbol for denarius uh, if, uh, uh, you, uh, if you uh, have it in your diplomatic text, but you have nothing than the expansion of abbreviation, the word denaria written in Greek, uh, in square brackets. And the diplomatic text shows the respective symbol. And this is the most relevant part of uh, this presentation on symbol that uh, I want to show you. I don't want to complicate things uh, further. There are some uh, mm, hero uh, renderings, but I don't think they work properly uh, in all the embedded visualizations, uh, so uh, uh, I'll think will not uh, mm, will not uh, treat them at uh, length here. As for the monograms, uh, there are some epidoc solutions for monograms also, but they do also don't work uh, very well. So uh, I find it uh, uh, redundant in this uh, at this point to to show you anything about uh, monograms. Uh, and uh, chances are that uh, uh, at least at this stage uh, you will rarely see them. And uh, as I uh, told you before, in the end of the day, you will also have the uh, uh, commentary to the inscription, and you also have the visual materials such as uh, photos, facsimiles, etc., etc. So in case uh, you find it technically difficult to uh, represent uh, a, a monogram or a, uh, some symbol that uh, uh, has a weird Unicode rendering or no Unicode rendering at all. Uh, you can just describe it uh, with the running text accompanied with a, uh, with a photograph.